everyone, Endort here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you what to do if you're getting a runtime error in Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to install the latest version of the Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable package. First of all, we have to locate the software and uninstall it. So let's press the Windows button, then select the settings icon and afterwards make sure to click on apps on the left pane and then on the right side click on apps and features. Under the app list you have a search box which you can click and simply type visual. As you can see there are many versions of this visual C++ software because they correspond to the softwares that you have installed on your PC, so the requirements can differ. But in our case let's just scroll down and find the latest version of visual C++, click on the ellipsis next to it and then select the uninstall option. After you uninstall the software you can simply close the settings window and afterwards you have to download it from the official Microsoft website. So just open your browser and access the link that I posted in the description below. This web page contains the latest Microsoft Visual C++ links. So make sure to download the one that corresponds to your system architecture. In our case it will be x64. Click on it, then make sure to choose a location, usually on your desktop, and then lastly click on the save button. Now minimize the browser and double click on the installer file. In here make sure to agree with the license terms and afterwards click on the install button. Now all you have to do is simply wait until the installation is finished and restart your PC and check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to run the application with administrative privileges. To do this right click the problematic application and select the properties option. In here make sure to click on the compatibility tab and lastly tick the box next to run this program as an administrator. Now click on apply and ok to save the changes. You can now check if the error is fixed. Another useful solution is to update the graphics driver. To do this right click on the Windows button then select Device Manager from the list of options. In the Device Manager window make sure to expand Display Adapters by double clicking on it, then right click the problematic device and select the Update Driver option. Now just click on Search automatically for drivers and Windows will try to find the best possible drivers for your PC. Afterwards restart your PC and check if the issue still persists. You can also uninstall conflicting applications. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and afterwards make sure to click on apps on the left pane and then on the right side click on apps and features. Now simply locate the conflicting app and click on the ellipsis next to it and select the uninstall option. After uninstalling the conflicting application simply restart your PC and check if the issue still persists. Another great solution is to repair or reset the problematic app. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and afterwards click on apps on the left pane and lastly click on apps and features on the right side. In here simply locate the problematic app and click on the ellipsis next to it and select advanced options. Now scroll down until you find the reset section and start by clicking on the repair button. In this case the app's data won't be affected at all, but if this step doesn't work properly you can also reset the application by clicking on the reset button. In this case the app's data will be deleted and everything will return to the default state. Now you can simply close the settings window and restart your PC to check if the issue still persists. And lastly another great solution is to perform a system restore. To do this press the windows button then simply type rstrui and select it as a run command from the search result. In here make sure to choose a different restore point and afterwards press on the next button and then choose the earliest point in time before the problem occurred and then press on next again then simply click on finish to start the restoration procedure. And that's it, plenty of solutions to consider. As usual for more information and details you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.